Hey, it's that Deadeye guy. Let's talk about Battle Right, developed by Stunlock Studios. When most people think about multiplayer online battle arenas, or MOBAs, the first titles that come to mind are Dota, League of Legends, and Heroes of the Storm. The recipe for these games are pretty straightforward, with only a handful of variants between them and how they handle certain aspects of the game style. Generally, you have two to three lanes that each have a tug of war waged between two teams. Each player controls one character from the isometric view and must use that character to take down enemy characters as well as their NPC minions and buildings. Whichever team destroys the other's core structure first is the winner. Battle Right makes some changes in how this style of game is played and seems to be putting some more emphasis on the battle arena part of MOBA. Rather than controlling your character with mouse clicks as in traditional real-time strategy games, Battle Right adopts the WASD control scheme from shooters. The mouse is used only for aiming and executing abilities. This gives you far more control over your character in combat and makes for a much more arcadey experience. This title clearly wants to focus on the direct PvP combat and less on the objectives or item acquisition typical in other games. In fact, there are no items outside of cosmetic weapons that change nothing in the actual gameplay, and the objectives for the mainline game type is just Team Deathmatch. It feels more like playing World of Warcraft Arena PvP than it does a MOBA. They've recently added the Battlegrounds mode that is clearly trying to step into that traditional MOBA playstyle, but it doesn't seem like that is the focus of the developer or even the player base wants Battle Right to go. The ranked mode is still Arena style Team Deathmatch. I was immediately struck by how great the game played. I always expect some bugs when trying new indie titles due to typically smaller budgets and amounts of time available for polish but Battle Right feels very tight. I had no problem maneuvering around and engaging in the matches, and I encountered no technical issues. The game ran as smooth as you could want, and I have to give kudos to Stunlock Studios for producing such a polished product with what I can only assume was a fairly stringent time allocation requirement. Battle Right does a pretty good job flattening out the learning curve that is characteristic of many MOBAs. They're usually pretty daunting for new players, as one always has a hard time being effective because you don't understand all of the characters in the game and what they do, and in turn, how to counter them. The roster of said characters in this game are pretty varied and represent a fairly wide variety of playstyles and archetypes. While some of the dialogue is a bit cringy, each character does have their own feel and it's easy to develop favorites as you explore them. The combat is pretty fast paced, and the fact that almost all of your abilities are skill shots means that you have to pay much more attention to where your cursor is at all times. I really like that team synergy is crucial to winning matches. Even some of the better players I was in game with, the ones that have clearly been playing since beta, rarely overcame double teams or less than stellar teammates. I like this approach because the match is won or lost on how well players work together. I tend to gravitate towards ranged DPS characters in MOMAs, and the two I played in Battle Right, Jade and Jumong, were a hell of a lot of fun. Again, the learning curve is certainly a challenge, it does take several games per character just to get the hang of the abilities. Once you get it down, it can be a pretty rewarding experience to execute those abilities to dole out lots of damage. This game is free to play, leaning towards the model of offering a roster of free characters that changes regularly. You can earn in-game currency to purchase characters and other cosmetics, as well as using real money transactions for those who can't be bothered to spend the time in doing so. I don't mind this model since the game is free to download right off of Steam. Battle Ride is a nice little breath of fresh air in a market that is seemingly dominated by a few select titles. It has polish rarely seen in indie games, and I think it does enough differently to warrant its own place in the MOBA market. If you're a fan of the genre, I recommend downloading and giving Battle Right a try. Thanks for watching. If you like content like this, why not like, comment, and subscribe? Until next time.